your uh, your brick from house building one story to a high rise building. Now the weights at the top. Now some kids might ask why you would put weights at the top of the building. Well, in Australia, a lot of people have tile roofs. They're very heavy roofs. So that's a good example of weights at the top of buildings. Yep. But if you have a look around all the buildings around you here, you'll see big infrastructure on the top of the buildings. There are air ventilation and air conditioners. There's uh, lift tanks. machinery. Yep. There's all sorts of things going on to the top of the buildings. And those weights will make a difference to how the building reacts to the weight distribution across a building. will make a difference to how it reacts. So this is an exa a simple example to show them how buildings can resonate at different frequencies. So if someone wants to try shaking this, start with, one thing that we would ask kids would be, which one of these do you think would be safest in an earthquake? So, now I'm going to suggest that you shake it the other way, simply because otherwise they're going to hit each other. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, what you want to try and do is to get each different one. The resonance you need, I guess. Yeah. Come on. No, it's not about, it's not about the, the, the